everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Nina Ubi, I'm a makeup artist and a beauty entrepreneur. This is a place you'll find all the content I create on makeup, skincare, everything beauty related, but also a few vlogs to give you an insight into my life when I'm not in front of the camera. If there's any specific content you want me to create, let me know in the comments below. We're gonna be taking a look at the brand new Dior Backstage Powder No Powder Compact, and along with that, I'll be reviewing the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. We're gonna be looking at everything you look for in a foundation. So we're gonna start with packaging. We're then gonna move on to application. We're then gonna finally move on to how it felt on the skin, what the texture was like, what the color was like, and how it felt after wearing it all day. If you wanna buy any of the products that I'm reviewing today, you'll find the links in the description below. So let's take a look at the press pack that's sent. I love the bag that they sent, by the way. Obviously, this is just as a press pack, so it's not something that you'll actually buy the products in. We're gonna start with the Dior Powder No Powder Compact. Now, it's a plastic compact. It's very lightweight, which is great, so it's travel friendly, but I do wish there was a mirror on there because if I'm carrying a compact with me throughout the day, I kind of want a mirror so I can touch up on the go. The compact lasts for around 12 months after you've opened it, so it's like most cosmetics out there, but it is very, like I said, lightweight, and I love that it's kind of travel friendly. You don't feel like if it hits the floor, it's gonna shatter. Um, it feels pretty strong. So considering it is so lightweight, it is plastic. Again, maybe that's why they didn't put a mirror in there, but it's generally a great product to carry around with you. Next up, we've got the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. It's a plastic bottle, 50 mil, and it has like a matte finish to the bottle, which I love. It lasts again for around 12 months after opening. This is also very travel friendly. You don't have to worry about it falling and breaking because it's plastic again. And I feel like most of the Dior Backstage range is very lightweight and travel friendly. You can throw them about and not worry about them kind of breaking. And that all comes from that kind of backstage vibe from the shows. The bottle is a squeezy bottle, so you can squeeze the product out on the back of your hand. Now, the only thing I would say, you just gotta be careful before you put the lid on because sometimes when you put it back up right, it can carry on oozing out. So you just need to give it some time before you put the lid back on. I'm using the Dior Backstage Primer. It comes in a white bottle, exactly the same packaging as the foundation. It comes in a gel kind of fluid finish. It's not overly fluid either, which is great because it makes me feel like the primer is actually doing something to my skin. So you can see that I've got bare skin at the moment. All I've got on there is moisturizer, no primer. I'm using a foundation brush to apply my primer because I generally prefer applying primer that way. I just feel like I'm getting an even finish and it's distributing evenly all over. I mainly apply it to my forehead, my cheek area, nose area and around the chin area. I don't like to go too close to the eye area because it's very delicate around that area. So only the areas that I want the primer to work on. As I'm applying a primer, I can definitely see a difference in the brightness of my skin. I feel like it's a lot more even. It's a plumping formula. So that's something that you kind of see over time. It's not necessarily an immediate result. It gives a slight tacky finish to the skin, which is great because I feel like the foundation's got something good to kind of grip hold of. So I'm applying my Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation and I'm using a damp beauty blender, only because I generally prefer the application with a beauty blender. I feel like with a brush, you kind of get that streaky finish and with a blender, I feel like I can really buff it into the skin. You can already see how it's giving me such a nice even color to the skin because my face is naturally quite pale it's something that i have an issue with so i always want to make sure that i have a foundation that kind of matches my neck area more and gives me that nice healthy glow all i'm doing is really buffing it into the skin so it can really kind of grip hold of my skin and make sure that there are no areas which look patchy i think a lot of people think that the dual backstage face and body foundation doesn't give you enough coverage and the reason I say that is because I used to be one of those people. I used to just assume this was an ultra light foundation, which was for model skin, like perfect skin that didn't have much texture, didn't have any blemishes. So I thought I couldn't use it. And I was wrong because I tried it out and considering the texture is so light, it's so buildable as well. They have a huge range of shades for every skin tone that you can think of, especially undertones. Like I have a slight olive undertone to my skin sometimes i have a little bit of redness in my skin and the range of shades that are available are amazing 
So I would honestly recommend that just go out and find the right shade because you will definitely find one within this range. And the main thing that I really wanted you guys to see is considering this is an ultra light foundation, the coverage is insane. Like it's such an everyday foundation that still makes your skin look like skin, yet it gives you such amazing coverage. Like I can't believe this side compared to this side, obviously you can see all the bits that I'm trying to cover up, but I mean, this is still great. For a foundation which isn't labeled as full coverage, this is amazing coverage. So there is another face and body foundation on the market, which you guys probably know what I'm talking about, but um, I'll be honest, this one is a hundred times better. I've used it, I've used the other one. The shades in this are great if you have darker skin tone like myself, or even darker than mine. And I can't even begin to tell you, like this foundation still lets your skin look like skin. You can feel like your skin is still breathing underneath. You don't feel like it's kind of suffocating your skin and you don't get that feeling of oh my god i can't wait to take my makeup off so yeah just thought you should know that okay i thought that this was going to be difficult to use i thought the brush was going to be not very versatile and i felt like how am i going to buff this into my foundation without the brush taking off the foundation off and it's just working so well. I mean, obviously all the products are made by Dior that I've put on, so they're quite clearly made for one another. Like the way that they just fit in together with each other is amazing. Like the foundation sinks into your skin, but still gives you that coverage. The powder now is just fixing into that foundation so well. It's not leaving a powdery finish. It's literally melting into my skin you can still see that it's skin. It doesn't look like it's just been covered. Yet, it's somehow still giving me a flawless finish. So I love it. I'm using the Dual Backstage Powder No Powder Compact. I usually start from the middle of the ear and then slowly work my way in, just to give me that really nice sculpted finish along the cheekbones. This is definitely my new bronzer. Not so much for a bronzed finish, but more so for sculpting. I love it. I mean, I love how this powder can just sink into the skin and it just doesn't feel like you're adding layers and layers. Look how well this is sculpted, the cheekbone here. Like it was flat before, completely flat no dimension apart from the fact that this product literally just blends into the skin and I know I keep saying it but it literally is just melting into the skin my skin doesn't feel like it's powdery it doesn't look like it's powdery and it feels very supple considering that I've got powder on top it feels very supple it just feels like skin it doesn't feel like I've got this thick layer of foundation and powder on top. And I know it's not just the powder, it's the color as well, but I love how this has not given me that overly kind of orange bronze look. It's kind of sculpted, but given me a nice warm finish as well at the same time. The shade that I'm using is 4N by the way, so it's 4 neutral, which obviously means it's a much cooler tone. I'm just applying a lighter shade on, under my eyes because I just wanna see how it kind of sets that under eye area and I am loving it. I know I keep saying this, but I'm really surprised at the finish. I'm really surprised at how it sets the foundation. I don't know about what it's gonna be like on other different branded foundations, but this powder is made for the face and body foundation. It, it just sinks in with it and just binds in perfectly. I honestly didn't think that I would be able to contour my nose with this powder. This powder literally does everything. You can use it to just set your foundation on its own. You don't even have to use it on foundation. Or you can use it to sculpt. I'm super impressed with this. So as you've seen, the application process is so easy. It just glides onto the skin. 
Now, I've already probably drummed it into you so much already with how many times I said it sinks into the skin, but it genuinely does sink into the skin. It just melts into the skin, and that's what I love about it. I've been using this foundation for years. It's one of my go-to favorites when it comes to a natural base that's something that I can build on, but where my skin still looks like skin. It's super lightweight, but you can build it up without it looking cakey. And that's what I love about it. Like you still feel like your skin can breathe. I think my favorite part of the application process was seeing how well the powder complements the foundation. And I know they're both dual products, so obviously they're gonna work well with one another, but it's almost like the powder has just taken up the foundation a notch. Like all of a sudden I've discovered this whole different result that you can get from the foundation if you use a powder with it. The powder leaves a blurring effect to the skin and it actually does work. It doesn't give you that powdery finish to the skin. Like most powder compacts, when you keep touching up through the day, you eventually start seeing that horrible layer of powder on the skin and you can actually see those particles. Well, you don't see that with this. It's been formulated with no added talc. It has been infused with a gelled base and all of that is to ensure that it doesn't leave you that powdery finish. And it's been created specifically for numerous touch-ups throughout the day. It just leaves that really stunning veil of color over the skin with that blurring effect. And you don't have to use this on top of a foundation. You can use it on bare skin as well. Now, I haven't tried it on bare skin. So if you guys have, then let me know in the comments below. Like, how did you find it? Another thing I loved about this compact was that the darker shades are perfect for sculpting. So you can get a couple of extra darker shades and just use them to bronze up your face, but without it looking like you've added powder. So overall, I'm loving the products. I've already been using the face and body foundation for quite a while and I love it. I am now a new fan of the Powder No Powder Compact because it's definitely something I'm gonna be keeping in my bag and something I can keep touching up with throughout the day. Now the price for both of these products is $40 each. And to be honest, that's around the mid price point for a foundation or a compact on the market anyway. I just wanna let you guys know, this isn't a paid review. They just sent me the products to try and test them out. Although, to be honest, once I'm finished with these products, I will be putting my own money in to replenish them. If you enjoyed this video, then hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Also hit that notification bell button so that you're notified whenever I release more content like this. So that's about it for this review. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions at all, just drop them in the comments below and I'll always get back to you. Take care and I'll see you on my next video.